All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. To get things started with this video, what we're gonna be talking about. So IOHK has just come out with a new research paper talking about the UTXO MA model. So now this is research intended to bring multi-asset support to the Cardano blockchain. Also, it's been made official that on July 2nd through the 3rd, the Cardano Virtual Summit will be taking place. This is the Shelly edition. So guest speakers such as Vince Cerf and many others are going to be attending this event. I know myself personally, I'm going to be very excited to be there. Hope to see you all there as well. Make sure that you register for free so that you can be there when it all happens. And lastly, what we're going to be talking about, sneak preview Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. We have reached over 5,000 subscribers. As a special thank you to everyone, I wanna give you the ability to win some free Kaizen Crypto merchandise. So more details about that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. So recently, IOHK came out with a research paper going into more detail regarding their UTXO MA model. Now, this is essentially multi-asset support intended to be brought onto the Cardano blockchain. So now taking a look at some of the key points that we're looking at with this website, they've got just a brief description of what this research paper talks about. So it says, the most prominent use case of Ethereum, which is not supported by Bitcoin, is the creation of a wide range of user-defined tokens or assets by way of smart contracts. User-defined assets are non-native on Ethereum, i.e. they are not directly supported by the ledger, but require repetitive custom code. This makes them unnecessarily inefficient, expensive, and complex. It also makes them insecure as numerous incidents on Ethereum have demonstrated. In this paper, we explore an alternative design based on Bitcoin-style UTXO ledgers. Instead of introducing general scripting capabilities together with the associated security risks, we propose an extension of the UTXO model where we replace the accounting structure of a single cryptocurrency with a new structure that manages an unbounded number of user-defined native tokens, which we call token bundles. Token creation is controlled by forging policy scripts that, just like Bitcoin validator scripts, use a small domain-specific language with bounded computational expressiveness, thus favoring Bitcoin's security and computational austerity. The resulting approach is lightweight, i.e. custom asset creation and transfer is cheap, and it avoids use of any global state in the form of an asset registry or similar. The proposed UTXO MA model and the semantics of the scripting language have been formalized in the Agda Proof Assistant. So what this talks about in more detail is essentially having multiple assets built upon a blockchain that are able to be used using a single ledger. How it mentioned in this paragraph we see with Ethereum, you have ERC20 tokens and you have all these different tokens that are all specific to their own smart contract. So essentially what they want to do with Cardano and this multi-asset support is have multiple tokens that are able to be compatible using various smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. So very cool. I think once we start to see smart contracts being brought onto the Cardano blockchain after Gogan is released, this is going to be incredible because we're going to be expecting things like stable coins, you know, smart contracts that might require a certain type of asset, including a, an NFT, maybe a non-fungible token. And, you know, this is all going to lead the way to some type of DeFi. It might be very similar or it might be very different to what we see with Ethereum currently. And, you know, talking about multi-asset support with Ethereum, could we even see some of these ERC-20 tokens being able to migrate their code over onto the Cardano blockchain. So lots of interesting things to think about. I think it's going to provide a lot of utility to the Cardano blockchain. Next up, I wanted to share with you guys that this has just been made official. The cardanosummit.iohk.io website is now up where you can register for free for the Cardano Virtual Summit 2020 Shelly Edition. So lots of interesting things happening with the Cardano project. This essentially is to celebrate and announce the release of Shelly on the Cardano mainnet. 
So very highly anticipated. I know I am excited. I'm looking forward to this event. Can't wait to see you all there. If you haven't already, make sure that you register for free. You don't want to miss it. And then lastly, guys, thank you all so much for staying with me. I really appreciate all the support that I've been receiving. Recently, the channel has got to over 5,000 subscribers. So very exciting. It's just a big milestone for the channel. I could not have done that without all of your support. As a way to say thank you to all of you, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for some Kaizen Crypto merchandise. So I want to help you guys get ready for Shelly if you wanted to sport some Ada apparel cardano apparel whether it's a hoodie or a t-shirt or any other type of clothing or apparel i'm going to be giving away a t-shirt or a hoodie to one lucky winner all you have to do to enter to win is be a subscriber that is it hit that subscribe button click that like button for me and if you do want to leave a comment to let me know that you have entered or if you have a question let me know down in the comment section below all right, everyone, that is what I have for you guys here in this video today. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.